know who scores a lot of points like every time he's out? Who? Nikola Jokic. And he's one of the big beefy centers uh, on this slate tonight. Who's the dude you're going to build around? He is, you know, the Joker's the most expensive. Yeah, so putting aside the fact that, you know, Nikola Jokic is viable anytime he's on any slate. Um, I, I think we've talked about that probably enough. I think people understand you can always play Jokic. So uh, maybe a bit of a more interesting play or, or a name that people haven't thought about in a long time. Uh, Marvin Bagley, who was traded to the Pistons. Uh, the Kings finally gave up on this guy who was the former second overall pick in the NBA draft. Uh, the Pistons got some bad news yesterday. Isaiah Stewart is going to be out for at least a week with a deep knee bruise. Uh, he could be out longer than that. And it seems like Bagley is going to be the guy who steps in. I don't know if he's going to start at center tonight for the Pistons, but he's going to get some huge minutes. In their game against Atlanta on Monday, uh, the game where Stewart was actually injured, he was only able to play nine minutes. And that resulted in Bagley logging 36.2 mm. minutes and scoring over 40 DraftKings points in that contest. It feels like the only reason the Pistons would trade for Marvin Bagley is so they can give him sort of like an extended audition and see what they have in this guy, see if there's any, actually anything left in the tank for someone who used to be so highly regarded. So at this point in the season, I feel like it's in their best interest to just give him as much of an opportunity as they can. This seems like a spot where he's going to get a lot of that opportunity. And also Chicago is just a team that does not defend well. So I think for Bagley, who is averaging over a DraftKings point per minute played since the trade to Detroit, he could be looking at well over 30 minutes tonight, which means he's probably going to pretty easily pay off his price tag.